Hey friends, this is Human Resource Machine, a game about programming for, I think, intentionally is aimed at people that aren't programmers, and I am not a programmer, but I've been having a fantastic time with it. Um, I'm fascinated by the logic of programming, but I never actually want to uh, bother to learn it. So. Um, the game is uh, by the World of Goo and Little Inferno people, and I don't think I'll start with this one actually. I think I'll do that one because that one's a bit weird. Um, also, that one's a bit weird. Okay, I think that one's probably better to start with. Uh, so, uh, what we have here is a guy that we can use commands to control. Um, so, what this level wants me to do is to take things from that and put it in that. So what it wants me to do is grab things in re in here and then put them in reverse order onto there. Uh, so what I am going to do in order to solve that is to use these commands and then that will make the guy do that. Uh, so what, uh, what it wants is for me to first grab this from grabbing the first one and then copy it from there because I need to make a note of it in order to make things happen in reverse. This is sort of like a storage area. Then I want to go to the inbox again. Uh, I don't need to copy it twice because I have it in my hand. I'll, I'll play this first and then you'll see. Alrighty. Uh, ah. So actually, that's the, I used the wrong thing there. What I actually want is to copy two there because I want, I want the thing there that I get out of the inbox to be stored there. And then I want to go back to the inbox after that and then I want to bring that directly to the outbox because I'm done with it. If I put that in the inbox, that's the second one that I've grabbed. That's putting that through in reverse order. And then if I want to uh, grab the thing from there and take it to the outbox again, then that's all sorted. Uh, so after that, uh, I need to put another outbox there and then put a jump there so that I do it again. Actually, if I, I'll show you where, without the jump. So that goes there puts it through that, goes back to the inbox, takes it to the outbox, and then gets it from there and puts it in the outbox. So, and if I do that, it'll let me keep doing it until the level's over. Um, the complexity of these puzzles goes up, as you might expect. Um, it requires you to maybe start really considering what you're doing for programming. Um, there is, uh, I think, the one that I really want to show off is uh, this one, but I think I might do another one first. Um, I think this one's probably the best for that. Uh, so this one uh, has you start deciding to do maths with this. Uh, so uh, this one wants you to triple the value of that and then put it in the end. So like, like before, I grab something from the inbox and I copy it into there, but it gives me a new command so that I can add whatever's in that box to the stuff that I just got. So if I play this one, gets that, decides to add that to that, does it again, which is multiplication, three times multiplication, puts it in the end, and then we start the program again. So that's great. But uh, what happens when, doo -doo -doo -doo, what happens when it starts getting more difficult? Uh, it starts asking me to do multiplication for different values. So on this one, I think this is my favorite one that I've done so far. Um, the one that's like really pushed me as somebody that isn't able to program at all, doesn't understand the language, doesn't know what to do. Uh, this one, um, yeah, I think I'll start from, I, I, I put together another version of this that I originally created and then didn't work and had to, um, had to fix. This is my finished version, which is really botched together and terrible. And this one's the, initial one that I made that doesn't work. Uh, and I want to show that to you th first so it can like give you an idea of how the problem solving in this game plays out. So I feel that this game's really interesting about like giving you vague instructions and then says do it and then doesn't tell you where the edge cases of where it's going to go wrong are and then has you figure that out yourself. Uh, so for this one it wants me to multiply every two numbers that I pick out of the box there. So uh, I'll do this step by step. Um, what my code does is it grabs it from the inbox, it copies it to that bit there, uh, and then it goes back to the inbox and copies it to this one. 
what my code uh, does now with a new value that I got um, is that I can uh, minus something by one. So this tick here is something that I'm using to just keep um, the amount of times that I've uh, added these ones together. So uh, I'm also putting it in the answer because when this um, code goes back around, I want to put the result in the answer box. Um, I could probably do that more elegantly. Like I shouldn't have to do it that step, but just the way that the code works does it that way. So the way that this code works now is that every time I'm going to that value, I'm bumping it down. I'm adding this value to that value. And then once this tick reaches zero, uh, I've got a value there that says uh, jump if zero to getting the answer and then taking it to the outbox and then jumping right back to the start. So um, this is just adding, uh, sorry, multiplying three and five. It's gonna get 15 at the end and take 15 to the end. And it'll keep doing that for this next value as well. And then the next one is where it will fuck up. Um, I'll speed this up a bit because it's going to do this at least three more times. Cool. All right. Great. So grab the one, whatever. Do, do whatever you want with that. Now it's grabbed a zero. This is a problem <laughs> because when my code reaches this bump, uh, you'll see. I'll put it in the answer because it has to. And it will bump it down by. Uh, that one's fine, but it's the next one I think is the problem, actually. Oh no, this one's fine, because uh, I'm going to be multiplying by zero anyway, it's going to result with zero. Um, that one's totally fine, because the way that I was counting it was good. Uh, it is this next one that's the problem, because the way that I'm using to count it is the first number that I get, the second number that I get is what I'm multiplying, um, and I'm going to put that in the answer, and then when I go to bump that down to negative, this means that the way that my code works is that I'm never going to get a zero in that value. So it's just going to go on forever. I'll try and catch up back to where I was. I should have used back rather than stop. That's a, a real problem with debugging is that you just got to wait for it to... So there we go. It's creating like negative there. And because it'll never create a zero, the code can't continue. Um, the guy never tells me that that's going to happen, but I have to figure it out based on like trial and error. Uh, so what I've done uh, for this one is I've botched together the worst solution for this possible. Like, I haven't made the code any more elegant. I don't know how I would do that. I'm not a, I'm not a programmer. But what I've actually done is uh, I've made it so that once this number reaches zero, or if I ever pick up a zero and it's the uh, second number, I just... I just like say, we're not going to do any maths. I am just going to grab it from here and take it to the end. And I can do that because um, it's totally fine for me to do that. Because um, if I'm correct, yeah, if I first grab a zero, I also have a bit of code in the bottom here that tells me to just grab another thing from the inbox and then chuck it away and then grab that. Um, at like, I've botched together a solution that should not work, but, well, why not? It does, and that has let me finish the level. So, great. Um, I'm hoping that somebody better at coding will see this video and tell me how to do this, because I'm being judged on how good my solution is, but I can't make it any better because I'm not smart enough. But I feel good that me not being smart is not holding me back and I'm still able to play this game. Uh, right now, the, the trouble is, uh, I'm not even gonna begin telling you what the trouble is, because it's impossible to convey. Um, but uh, that's all I wanna show off. Um, by this video game, if you don't know how to code, um, don't necessarily want to learn how to code, but are kind of fascinated by the idea of it, or maybe that's not true at all, maybe you really like coding already and wanna make a fun game out of it. It's 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 good. Play the, play the just play the video game. Good yeah, see ya.